Hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Good morning again. Um, next step on the Gecko KT Ambulance build. Um, but before we go into that, um, there's a question I had raised um, by one of the subscribers, Dinosaur Allen, um, and he, he questioned the, the the shape of the nose of the KT. Um, now. I'm not an expert, I don't, don't, you know, I'm not going to say that there is an issue or there isn't, but all I can say is I looked at the the two kits, I looked at the Airfix kit and the, and the Gecko kit, and Alan is uh, of the opinion that the shapes are wrong. Um, I don't know uh, whether he's right. Or whether Airfix or Gecko are wrong, or whatever. But um, I had a look at the Gecko kit. I think it's probably best if I get um, I'll get a plain mat, and then we can uh, have a look at it and, and see what it, it it does. Hold a second. So the first one I want to look at is is the. Um, It's the shape of the radiator or the nose, the cowling um, of the gecko kit, and and it's there. Um, I hope that's in focus. It it's sort of it's almost square, if you like, or more of a square shape or rectangular shape. So that's the gecko one. The Airfix one has, if you like, a more rounded sort of shape. Um, notwithstanding the fact that the you know the grill's there, the grill the grill is fine. So I think I think from the the pictures that I've seen. I think we'll have to draw our own comparisons. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the Airfix one off the sprue and the Gecko one off the sprue and let's have a closer look at them together. Well, I don't know what you think of that in comparison to the noses, but I thought I'd dig out this piece of reference material that I've got. This is um, the service manual for the K2s and the K4s. Uh, this is produced by the Austin Motor Company at Longbridge, Birmingham. And I'll pick this up for actually quite a good price, considering. So if we're looking... This and look at the K5. Now, as you can see, the shape of the K5, irrespective of these grills, this is a, a later version, I believe, with those grills. But I could be wrong. And this is the five ton long wheelbase truck. So if you look at the shape of that, To the gecko one that's not quite right and if you look at the shape of the airfix one it's slightly different as well now this this may have the shape of the grill may be different so i sort of went through through the book and i'm going to try and find the page where it talks about the radiator in the cowlings Oh, Bob, you know where it is. You know you found it just now. So this is a bit further on in the book. And let's see if I can zoom in on the page and get a better view of it. So if we look at... Let me move that over there.
as you can see this has got it, it does give the impression of a rounded nose which you could argue that the airfix one replicates because it's also got the, the I don't know what the, whether that was an emblem I'd need to look at look at it again but it also has that whereas the Gecko one doesn't when we look at the other picture on this on this page then looking from the reverse the airfix one maybe isn't quite as rounded as it should be and the gecko one clearly isn't the right shape compared to that so all in all I think you got a really good point there Alan and uh, yeah it does appear that neither one of them has got the correct shaped toweling interesting huh let's get on to the kit so in terms of the kit uh, we've got chassis where are we Right, I've got the chassis built with the differential and I've got the drivetrain in so that's that's ready for paint we've got the wheels ready ready for paint those two and those two Oop. and the spare that's ready for paint so the transmission and gearbox is assembled um, just toying with the idea to add that to the engine assembly the engine assembly is there transmission goes in in the back there I think in the back end there um, so I think what I might do is put those two parts together and get that prepared so then that can go into into basic paint um, there's additional parts that I need to put on one is a distributor and the other is the dynamo um, and obviously the, the fan belt and the fan oh and the fan sorry uh, the front drive half of the drive shaft uh, might be able to put that into place until we have the engine mounted in the chassis um, I've got because of the questions that were asked about the radiator um, haven't actually assembled the radiator yet but the parts are all trimmed off and I'm ready to do that now the fuel tanks um, is two fuel tanks and they're actually handed so that's the left hand side and that's the right hand side so they're ready for primer so even though we haven't got oh yeah and uh, we've got the sorry got the exhaust pipe that's that's still stuck on one part of the sprue but that's all dressed that's ready for for paint and a bit of rust effect and there's the there's the manifold there and that will go under paint the same color as as the uh, as the exhaust so i'm going to go on and uh put the radiator together and then look forward through the instructions um, and what I'm doing is is actually looking forward through the instructions and I'll pan back out a bit I think for that. Um, and, and uh, determine what sub-assemblies can be done next 
so for example the the rear step according to the gecko kit that can that can be put together um, and I'm looking at whether or not I can actually put that together and get that on the chassis um, before I paint the chassis I'll, I'll have another look at that but that may well be the case so you get the whole as much of the chassis all painted together um, there's also the sub assemblies in the cab so the box the seat um, the floor with the with the foot race the foot plates on and the, the gear shifter and and the handbrake and then the pedals so you've got the two you've got the your clutch and your your accelerator and your brake pedals there get the or get the um, steering column and the steering wheel done um, and also things like the fire extinguisher get that all ready for paint um, firewall um, with the additional um, components there um, I'm not too sure about that I think that C35 is the coil um, now I don't know whether or not that is correct but I'm going to I'm going to check that um, it's certainly in the right place uh, in that in that structure it's certainly in the right place but it, it's I think that's got to be the fuse box that's I think the coil not sure what that is is that regulator someone someone should be able to tell me and I'll, I'll have another look through my book and have a look see, see what everything is but I'm trying to get as much preparation done in terms of the sub assemblies and then we'll get everything painted and then it'll be get everything put together anyway that's the update for today and I'll crack on and get some more done and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.